The next derivative we'll look at naming is the acid anhydride, and an acid anhydride is made from two carboxylic acid molecules, maybe identical, maybe different, uh, and we're going to name it in kind of a funky way. If you take a look at this one we've got here, so this side comes from butanoic acid, so this side right here comes from propanoic acid, so and if you combine the two and lose water in the process, and again that may not be actually how it forms, uh, but you can kind of envision that's where butanoic propanoic anhydride comes from. Uh, and it is a name from the carboxylic acids it is derived from. So in this case, uh, butanoic versus propanoic. Butanoic comes first in the alphabet. So it turns out you're going to name those two carboxylic acids it comes from. So as uh, your first two words, and you'll name them in alphabetical order. So it's not by chain length, it's by alphabetical order. So in this case, we'll say butanoic, butanoic first, propanoic second, and then you always just finish it off with the word anhydride. So this is butanoic, propanoic, anhydride. Now, on the other hand, if it's symmetrical, meaning that both sides of your anhydride came from identical carboxylic acid molecules, in this case they both came from propanoic acid, then rather than being redundant, we just simply say propanoic anhydride, and we shorten it to two words instead of three.